Hey, Dylan from ClearBridge here. We recently posted a video about how to use your Gmail better in under three minutes. If you wanna watch that video, it should be up here on the upper right. Now, in that video, we got a lot of feedback about the archive and search strategy, which is essentially archiving emails when you're done with them and then searching for them when you need them at a later date. In fact, this strategy works so well that we have ditched all of our Gmail inbox labels and folders for it. Now, if you wanna really use this archive and search strategy at its most effective, you need to really know how to use the Gmail search bar. So in this short video, I'm gonna show you how you can go from Gmail zero to hero by harnessing the power of the Gmail search bar. You ready to go? Let's do it. Okay, the first thing you wanna do is go to your Gmail inbox and you'll see your search bar. There is a drop down menu and you click on that and you'll see all of these fields that give you options um, to help refine your search in your Gmail. So I'll run through these really quickly for you just so you know what they exactly they are. Some are a little bit more self-explanatory than others. So from is obviously the person who has sent you the email that you're searching for. Two would include anybody else who has been CC'd in the email. Subject would be any keywords or any words in the subject line. Has the words would be any words that are in the body of the email. Could also include words on an attached document potentially. Doesn't have would be words that you want to exclude from the search. Size would be a range of greater than or less than. And you can put in your size here of megabytes, kilobytes, or bytes. Date within would be, uh, you, you hit the drop down there and you can see a bunch of different options for within what time period you can search for. You put in your date from that you're searching for. And then you're searching here in your various Gmail labels and folders. So right now I'm in the all mail folder and all mail is exactly that. It consists of all of your mail, whether it's in your inbox, your spam, or even in your sent folders. That's where you're searching right now with the all mail folder. And then again, these two tick boxes has attachment. So if you know your email has attachment, you can select that. Or if you're looking for an email and you don't want anything to be pulled up in a chat conversation, you'd want to select that checkbox as well. So let me run through a quick example here for you. I'm going to use um, an email from Ryan that uh, I have received. So I'll type Ryan's email address in here. I can't remember any words in the subject line, so I'll leave that blank. I can't remember who it was sent to um, other than myself, so I'll leave that blank. I believe it had the words ClearBridge. I can't remember words that it wouldn't have. I can't remember any size information. I'm going to select within the last two months from today's date. And I'm gonna search in the all mail folder, which if you remember is all of your emails, including your archive mail, spam, and even your sent emails. I don't think it had an attachment, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna leave that blank. And I know it wasn't in a chat, it was an email. So let's search and see what comes up. Okay, now you can see here, I've got quite a lengthy list of emails from Ryan. Now I wanna refine that a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do is select the drop down menu again, and I'm gonna include somebody else who has been CC'd in the email. Let's say I remember, oh yeah, Jacqueline was CC'd in that email. I think it had an attachment, the more I think about it. So I'm gonna select has an attachment and let's see what happens now when I search that. There we go, there's the email I was looking for. It was from Ryan to myself and Jacqueline and it's, uh, it's right here on my desktop. Now you can clear your search by hitting this X. Let's do one more quick example for you. So I wanna find uh, a Gmail update about one of their new features. So I'm going to search G Suite blogs or G Suite update. Now a lot of emails get pulled up. I believe it had something to do with Gmail and it did not have anything to do with Google Drive. So I'm gonna leave the word drive out. And it was, I'm pretty sure within the last two months, I'm gonna search uh, mail, spam, and trash, just in case I accidentally uh, trash this email. Okay, here we go. Now you'll see here underneath this uh, search bar, I've got a few other options here. If I want to refine my search even further and didn't want to go into my drop down menu, I can just select one of these buttons that Gmail has automatically prompted for me. So 
If you had a long list here still and you just wanted to narrow it down to um, emails that had attachments, you just click the has attachment button. So there's a lot of functionality here with Gmail search. And I just wanted to really highlight how well Gmail has improved their search functionality and how you can use it to your advantage when you're looking for emails um, all throughout your Gmail. Okay, now you are well armed to use Gmail's advanced search feature. Don't let it overwhelm you or stop you from using the search bar. Typically you will only need one or two, maybe sometimes three of those search fields to find the email that you're looking for. Test it out, give it a shot and get comfortable with it. I think you'll find it super helpful. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe down below. Leave us a comment and we will see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching.